Good day grade 12s. My name is Viola from the Distinction Bound Student and I'd like to welcome you to Lesson 37 from the Distinction Bound Student Textbook written by Cardin Madzokir. Today's lesson introduces S to an important topic in economics. As usual we will start by revising activity 32 given in the previous lesson. Question 1. Give a clear distinction between appreciation and depreciation of a currency. 8 marks. Appreciation of a currency implies an increase in the value of the domestic currency relative to currencies of other countries due to market forces whereas depreciation of a currency implies a decrease in the value of the domestic currency relative to the currencies of other countries due to market forces. With appreciation of a currency, exports will decrease and imports will increase while with depreciation of a currency, exports will increase and imports will decrease. Appreciation will have a negative effect on the balance of payments and depreciation will have a positive effect on the balance of payments. A lower price or exchange rate reflects an appreciation of the local currency against the foreign currency while a higher price or exchange rate reflects a depreciation of the local currency against the foreign currency. Let's get into the lesson for the day. The lesson takes us to Unit 2, the balance of payments account. The balance of payment is a systematic record of a country's transactions with the rest of the world for a particular period of time. These transactions are made by individuals, firms and government bodies. Thus the balance of payments includes all external visible and non-visible transactions of a country during a given period, usually a year. It represents a summation of country's current demand and supply of the claims on foreign currencies and of foreign claims on its currency. The balance of payment account consists of the following three accounts. Current account, financial account, capital transfer account, and lastly change in reserve. Current account. The current account is an important indicator about an economy's health. It is defined as the sum of the balance of trade, net earnings on exports minus payments for imports, factor income, earnings on foreign investments minus payments made to foreign investors, and cash transfers. It is called the current account as it covers transactions in the here and now, those that don't give rise to future claims. Let us now look at the nine components of the current account. We need to figure out whether we add or subtract. Let's find out. The first component that we will look at is merchandise imports. It includes transactions in movable goods that change ownership between SA residents and non-residents. For example, if South Africa imports these cars from Japan, the value of those imported cars would be included in the merchandise imports of South Africa. Now to balance the current account, do you think we should add or subtract? Let us know in the comments section down below. While you are on there commenting, drop us a like. Also subscribe and hit the notification bell for you to get notified each time we post. Now I'm sure you have responded to my question. With merchandise imports, cars came to our country from Japan so we subtract since we have to pay Japan for those cars. Next we will look at merchandise exports. It comprise all transactions between residents of a country and the rest of the world involving a change of ownership from residents to non-residents of general merchandise, net exports of goods under merchanting, non-monetary gold, and services. For instance, if South Africa exports these goods to China, the value of those exported goods would be considered in South Africa's merchandise exports. I'm sure you are familiar with these containers used when countries import and export goods. Next we will look at net gold exports. You are probably wondering why it's recorded separately from merchandise exports because it fits the description of merchandise export. You are about t find out why shortly. Also note that it is a common exam question. It shows net foreign gold sales plus the change in gold reserve of the South African Reserve Bank. It is indicated as a separate item because of its importance to South Africa in earning foreign currency and is the world's largest producer of gold. Up next is services receipts. This includes transportation, travel, financial, insurance, professional, technical, recreational etc. services that South African residents render to non-residents. For instance, if a an South African software company provides IT services to a US client and receives payment for those services, that receipt would be included in Africa's service receipts. Next we will look at service payments. This includes transportation, travel, financial, insurance, professional, technical, recreational etc. services that other countries to South African residents. For example, if a South African tourist pays for a hotel stay in France, that payment would be included in South Africa's service payments. Next we will look at income receipts. Income receipts refers to income earned by South African residents in the rest of the world. 
For instance, if a South African company receives dividends from its investment in a U.S. company, that receipt would be considered in South Africa's income receipts. Income payments. Income payments refers to income earned by non-residents from South Africans e.g. salaries, dividends etc. Another example is as follows, if a South African company pays interest on a loan from a foreign bank, that payment would be recorded in the income payments of South Africa. Next is current transfers. This involves transfers from SA residents to non-residents and vice versa. They include donations gifts, social benefits and taxes. For example, if a South African living abroad sends money back home to support their family, that remittance would be included in South Africa's current transfers. A surplus or deficit may occur on the current account balance, depending on outflows and inflows of money. Lastly we will explore trade balance. The trade balance is a record of imports and exports of merchandise, physical goods. The formula for calculating trade balance is, merchandise exports plus gold exports, minus, when imports exceed exports. It is a key component of the current account. Now let's look at whether we add or subtract on each component and why we do so. For merchandise exports, we add because goods go out and money comes into the country. For merchandise imports, we subtract because goods come into the country and money goes to the countries that sold us those goods. For net gold exports, we add because we will have sold gold to other countries so the countries that will have bought the gold should pay for it. For service receipts we add because we will have rendered services to other countries so those countries should pay for the services rendered to them. For service payments we subtract because other countries will have rendered services to us and so we have to pay for those services rendered to us. For income receipts we add because this will be payment for investments that we will have made in their countries. For income payments we subtract because that will be for investments that they will have made in South Africa. For current transfers we add or subtract because the figure will be a net figure. So we add when the figure is positive and subtract when the figure is negative. For trade balance we we add merchandise exports with net gold exports and subtract merchandise imports. That's it for the current account and its components. As usual, we conclude our lesson with activity 33. Question 1. Define the term balance of payment. 2 marks. Question 2. Which component of the current account refers to income derived from the sale of tangible goods and include raw materials as well as intermediate and final goods? 2 marks. Question 3. Gifts from Australia are recorded on which component of the current account? 2 marks. That's it for today's lesson. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Also hit the notification bell for you to get notified every time we post new content to our channel. We are also giving away the Distinction Bound student t-shirts to people who buy more than 10 books. At the moment we have the following textbooks, Economics Grade 10, 11 and 12 plus Business Studies Grades 11 and 12. We are looking forward to adding more books to our catalog. Remember our books come in two versions, Complete and No Answers versions. Complete versions have answers and no answers versions do not. Thank you so much for your support. See you in the next video. God bless.